several IDE and floppy drives connectors, a 20-pin P1 Molex, a 4-pin P4 Molex to support a Pentium 4 and a 6-pin P2 connector. No doubt we are dealing here with an ATX power supply version ATX 12V 1.0. Old PC computer power supplies make great power supplies for projects. They come with good overload and overheat protection built in, and commonly offer out of the box 3 output voltages, 3.3 volts, 5 volts and 12 volts. Getting them to work can be however a little tricky, so if you have never seen it, let me show you why. I'm here connecting three 12 volts halogen light bulbs to the 3.3 volts, 5 volts and 12 volts rails. And this is what happens when I turn the power supply on. Exactly. Nothing. There is indeed one thing missing for this power supply to work. When used in a PC, someone presses on a button for the whole system to turn on, and this is what we need to replicate. Fortunately, this can be easily done. The trick here is to connect the green wire called PS on, to any black wires. And now, check out the difference.